Welcome to Nuko's story. All the brothers have never talked about any trick or cheat or have heard that ghosts are such a ghost which only gives us a glimpse of them. When a person is hypnotized with these inventions, then the death of that man is fixed. Let's go. The story of the death of a boy on the trick, these stories are for fun only. Please do not take these stories seriously. There was a village called Vijayapurna. This village had a huge pond. The elderly said that the pond was a ghostly pond, which the elderly people knew about the pond. They had seen what would happen if you went to this pond. The bodies of many children were found in this pond. The head of these corpses was lowered and on both feet. Such incidents were done in this pond, so the villagers used to explain to their children. Does not go to the pool when fell more events so people had left to go day to night of the pond, the people often used to work from this pond that the whole village would go to the pond to showcase it, as it was the only man who had gone on the show on the pond, there were more deaths because the camouflage only makes him a victim by looking at the person alone many children who used to go to the pond to play, were killed in the death of the children. Deaths were all of a kind, both of them had their feet on the head, so that the people of the village used this pond had known the whole reality. All the people of the village stopped going for the show on the pond and used to go to the show in the trenches to fill the water. This incident was reduced to its own village, then there was no death, because no one went there. It has been 10 years since the time the village has improved, all the houses were made draw, now everybody in this village had their own maze house more than most people had learned. If all had thought, then what was the need of going to the pond in the villages of those villages? All these miseries were totally 0%. Most people forgot the last story of this lake because those elderly people had passed in a lot, two of them or three people were the children who knew about this pond but this truth was seen only as a story, no one believed in this truth, then the big Bujraga wanted to not make his joke because he did not speak anything, he did not say anything. Grampradin had a marriage here in the village. Grandpradin's name was Nathuram. There was a daughter of Nathuram. Nathuram wanted to marry his daughter with great gestures, so he used to live in some relative city there were quite a lot of mercenaries. In the marriage, three to four days before marriage, all the guests had come. The marriage program was going well. There were two boys and the guests. One was the name of the lamp and the name of the other boy was Sonyu. The two boys grew up in the city. They came to the village to see the language intolerance of the village and they would laugh at them, because the village is often called a rustic language. The lamp's body was very good, so the lamp is its body. Had lived in the Gur and there was no matter what the mother was, both Deepak and Sonyu went out of the village to see that two days passed, the marriage was only preparing for the remaining remaining days of marriage Deepak told someone about the pond and told not to go there. Deepak stopped this thing because the lamp was understanding that the people of the village wanted to scare them. The next day, the procession came in the village, the procession was the procession. The time had been climbed at the time and the fair was going on. The rounds ran all over and the daughter of Nathu Ram was away on the evening of the evening. Deepak and Sonu were drunk and drunk, Deepak told Sonu, Sonu walked to the pond, due to the drunken Sonu too due to this, the people of the village were refusing us to go near this pond. And they started walking near the pond with a bottle and went to the pond and went to the pond and lost control but there is nothing like this, for half an hour, the lamp and the sonu are sitting and half an hour later, when the girl started to hear the pajibs apparatus, the lamp thought that there is a girl here, 
Deepak lifted Sonia from there and listening to the Pajav after the chase began to stop, the ammunition stopped. In the night, the Okilis girl came to the deserted place, it means that we are happy. Deepak thought that the girl was trying to hide from us but Deepak and Sonia do not know that she is not a woman's craze, she is a scam. After some time she started giving hearing to both of them. Coming from the shore of the lake. Deepak and Sonu reached the edge of the pond through these sparrows and a girl was giving them water in the water and was indicating to call them Deepak and Sonu saw these gestures, they became stiff and go inside the water. As soon as he entered the water, Chalawa killed Deepak and Sonu in the water and killed him when he saw Shuva when Deepak and Sonu were not mentioned in the house. The house members started searching for both of them when they took the dude all over the place but they did not know anything. A man from the village asked to search on the pond when he went there and both of them were caught in the lake's pond, which were called elderly people. That was the truth that everyone understood. Friends, if you liked talking about this story, then please like share and subscribe my channel for more new videos. Thank you.